So straight from work, I booked a grab going to the airport and I got into the wrong terminal. I thought it was terminal 2 but it turns out that my flight was in terminal 1. And I only made it because Pal allowed me to ride their shuttle going there. So thanks Philippine Airlines for that and for such a good flight. We got there at about 1 a.m. So I decided to stay in the sleeping pod just to catch up on some sleep and be energized for the next day. So I took the grab going to Hanoi Old Quarters and that's where my hostel was in the middle of the city which was super cheap. That room, that bed was only about 10 to 15 dollars per night and there was pool. There were free drinks, free breakfast, and it was so close to everything, to St. Joseph's Cathedral, where I prayed, to Hanoi Alleys, and to Train Street, which had really nice cafes and street arts, murals, and bars. It was so lively, although trains still pass through every now and then, so I'd say you have to be careful and it's pretty dangerous. So I enjoyed Ban Mi and enjoyed the afternoon at Tan Long Imperial Citadel. And there were just a lot of families all over enjoying the place, which I loved about Hanoi. They seem very family oriented. And from there also, I just walked through Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum and enjoyed the sunset. I never even took the grab at this point guys. All I did was walk all over the place. So it's pretty walking distance. And this was my favorite, favorite evening because I didn't expect to see this. So many people, so many performances. The only reason I got to see that was that I was so tired and thirsty walking all over the place so I wanted I had to buy water and when I got out I was surprised I didn't know they had this during weekends people dancing people gathering just enjoying the night at Huan Kim Lake look at that beautiful lake all lit up during the night and it was so fun just hearing Vietnamese people sing dance gather I just continued walking and walking around the vicinity of the lake because all the roads are closed down and there were just a lot of performances everywhere that I had to see so I just walked around until I got back to my hostel and the next day I had pho for breakfast of course and we gathered at the Hanoi Opera House for my trip to Halong Bay and we had multiple stopovers where we saw all these beautiful embroideries, embroidered art, and I bought one for myself. And we had a sumptuous lunch while on the way to Halong Bay. And Halong Bay was just exquisite. I remember dreaming about going to this place since I was a kid. I watched it in a movie or something. It was about a girl trying to move on then she went to Vietnam by herself. Although I was alone but I wasn't trying to move on. But it was such a good place to just think your life through. Oh that's my friend. We actually became friends after this trip. 
So hi. <laughs> if you're watching this, Victor. If only I could, you know, bottle a feeling. That feeling of just looking at that. It was so beautiful. Then we went kayaking to this little lake within Halong Bay. I, I forgot what it was called. I remember just being in awe, surrounded by all these stone formations. You know, you feel so small and you just realize how great God is for everything that you're seeing. Also this cave, I, I'm sorry but I forgot what it's called. But we went through that and right after, these two guys asked me if I wanted to go dinner with them because they were meeting a friend and we went to Four Piece the best best pizza and imagine guys the next day i went to another city the province of ninh binh i think it used to be the capital of vietnam and it was nice we went biking i tried my best to hold the camera and just look at the road that i was passing through all those mountains I couldn't forget that and right in front of me were an old Korean couple and I feel so killing I feel so in love just seeing them like they make me believe in love they're so sweet I hope I have that in the future and we also went we also rode a boat I think that's where King Kong was filmed or something. It was majestic. When I was riding that boat, what I was thinking that because it was so quiet, I could hear myself breathe. It was that peaceful. And I was thinking to myself that perhaps this is what heaven feels like or something. I would definitely come back to that place. Definitely. And the man rowing our boat, he was so nice. He was such a friendly man. And we couldn't understand each other, but his smiles made me feel his kindness and genuineness. I wish him well. And we also went inside the cave and we hiked right after imagine guys we went we went hiking right after and that was a few hours before i went to the airport to go home to the philippines it was a crazy tiring fun fun day